<laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Nikki. I'm Nick. And together we're Nikki Nick. She makes me laugh. Yes, you make me feel alive. Oh jeez. <laughs> Today we're gonna be reacting to um, the odd ones out. Yay! Um, peeing yourself. I used to pee the bed. Did you? I think everyone at some point in their childhood had done that. Yeah, childhood. Not till you're a teenager. All right. Do you want to react when, to this when now? Did you stop? <laughs> I don't remember. How old were you get would you assume? I don't know. So you didn't do it that much? I don't think so. I mean I don't remember wetting the bed. I think until I was twelve. Really? Yeah. Everybody in my family. Oh. My brother and sister too. You guys are just late boomers? Uh, my brother, I'm pretty sure, was sixteen. Really? Seriously? I hope he doesn't watch this video. He's gonna watch this video, he's gonna be like, dude. Lindsay bruh. never did it th that much. No. I think she was 10. I was yeah. 12. Alec was like 15, 16. Wow. No, I think I was young when I was. We were, ha were heavy again. sleepers. We oh. just tinkle. Oh, no. I'm like, you know how I am with sleeping. Have you guys ever had a dream that you're going to the bathroom and you wake up and you're like, oh my god, I hope I didn't pee the bed? No. No, I haven't. Because it felt so real in the dream? No, I don't think I've had a dream of myself using the bathroom. You're a weird human being. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Yep, let's Here go. Here we go. Today's word of the day is micturate. micturate. Did you come here to listen to me talk about juvenile topics and tell bad puns? Well, uh -huh. you're in luck. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't? Aw, that really pisses me off. You all read the title. You know what this video is going to be about. Peeing yourself. Yeah. James is running out of ideas! In my adult life, I've had so many close calls with not making it to the toilet. I'm surprised I haven't pooped my pants more often. One time when I was in college, I was walking home from campus Coolidge. and I sort of had that feeling that I needed to go. I thought I could make it back to my dorm, but then when I was walking back, I, I just couldn't hold it. So I started just booking it back home. Apparently running makes it so Sometimes. you poop faster though. But I burst through the front door and I just went straight for the bathrooms and it was close. Very, very close, but I made it. If the front door was locked, I don't know what I would have done. Another time I had a close call, I was playing <laughs> Pokemon Go. It was pretty similar to the first story. Pikachu? More like piss a Never mind. I don't have a clean record. There's been times when I was I a kid and I soiled my britches. Before I tell you stories about my childhood, I just wanted to say that according to my mom, I was potty trained very easily. Now I have no memory of this, but apparently every time me and my twin sister went to the bathroom in the toilet, we got yes, M&Ms. And my twin sister, bless her soul, was having some trouble learning how to do it. So instead, I just shared my M&Ms with her and soul. everyone was Aww. happy. Except it's been 20 years and she's still not potty trained. I'm still giving her M&Ms to this day. I've I had a couple of accidents happen when I was in elementary school, but only like two Me times too. though. I promise. The first time I peed my pants in class, I was in the first grade. My first grade teacher mm -hmm. was just a humongous. I did it once. Just a humongous person. Literally, she was pregnant. For the first nine months of my first grade career, I had to deal with this pregnant person, and even as a little tiny six-year-old, I hated her. And now I'll give her the benefit of the doubt and say that we are probably ornery little six-year-olds, but I wouldn't expect six-year-olds to be well-behaved. So why would you get a pregnant person who feels sick all the time to be our teacher? Was it because she couldn't afford maternity leave? One day, she threw up in a trash can right in front of us, and we all just sat there not really doing or saying anything. I made a video about this a long time ago, but one time my twin sister got injured on a trampoline and she had to be in a wheelchair for a couple of months that happened while we were in first grade so one time when we were in class there was a fire drill and the teacher told my sister that she had to get out of the wheelchair now she could get out of the chair her legs worked just fine it was her back that was injured but i mean what if she was actually bound to that wheelchair do we not have an escape route for the disabled leave the chair behind it'll only slow you down what you need that chair to move around well, it's going to have to burn, but it gets worse <laughs> to get out of the school. We had to go up these stairs and I was helping my sister walk up them, you know, because a doctor told her she shouldn't be walking at all. And my teacher saw this. She knew my sister was in a wheelchair two minutes ago and she said, don't help her. You know how when you're a little kid and you think that adults know everything and they're always telling you to do the right thing. That should have been my first clue that nope. What a female dog. Not nope. just that, a pregnant female dog. So one day oh I asked God. the teacher if I could go to the bathroom, and can you guess what she said? She said nah. no. I forget the exact circumstances, but you shouldn't ever tell a six-year-old that they can't go to the bathroom. Because guess what? They can, and they will. That hand raise, that's not really asking for permission. That's giving you a warning. I raised my yeah, hand a second time, 
Uh, do you remember when you told me I couldn't go to the bathroom? <laughs> well, we have a bigger Uh-oh. problem now. Ugh, I wish I knew curse words back then. You know, that kid that was inside my teacher's belly could be watching this right now and have no idea how stupid their mom is. This is why I'm never getting pregnant. That'd be the crazy. second time I peed That's myself, so I forgot funny. what grade I was in. Hopefully I was still in first grade. It definitely wasn't 12th grade. But this time it was at recess. And I didn't know that you could go to the bathroom at recess. I thought the school was locked up. So I had to really go to the bathroom. And I did. Aww. And all my classmates thought I peed myself. And I told them, no, I was drinking water and the water rolled down my face and all congregated in my groin region. Which, if I was going to lie, I should have just said that I spilt water on my pants. No one believed me except for one person. My twin sister. I knew saving Aww. her in that fire drill was a good move. But yeah, everyone else was right. I did... maturate myself. That's all there is to it! A winner! Of the day. Guys... <laughs> let's talk. I'm going to tell you something I thought I would take to my grave. So if we ever meet each other in real life, you're not allowed to make fun of me for this. I, James, was a bedwetter until I was eight years old. Oh, I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I was good going to the toilet when I was conscious, but being unconscious, I I was uncontrollable. If we're counting the total times in my life that I've had an accident, then there's too many to count. There were many days when I'd wake up to wet bed sheets, then I'd have to change my sleeping position and try and get some more sleep. The worst part about wetting the bed is that you have no control. I'd grab a towel. You're gambling every time you went to sleep. There were some things I would try to help me not wet myself. <laughs> One thing were these things called good nights. They were pretty much diapers with a bigger kid on the package. Your life hits a low point when you have to wear diapers for a second time. I would hate putting these things on. Because they're totally stupid, and I'm eight years old. I don't need diapers. I literally never slept with them on once. I would take them off every night before I would go to bed. I hated those things. I'd rather <laughs> pee my pants than wear a diaper. So since I didn't like those, I tried this alarm thing, which I also hated. You put a clamp on your underpants, and you put this thing called an alarm unit right next to your face, and you'd sleep with this contraption of uncomfortableness on you, and if you started to pee, that would trigger the alarm, which would blast a loud noise in your face, and that was supposed to wake you up like, what? Hey, you're peeing! Problem was, <laughs> every time the alarm went off, I was too tired to remember what was going on. So I would just think, I need to get this loud noise away from me. And I would just rip off the alarm and throw it away and go back to sleep without realizing what I was doing. Sort of like what I do now with the real alarm. Then I'd go back to bed, wake up in the morning, and realize, oh, that's why the alarm went off. Then later I got some pills from some doctor. Thing. I didn't either. I don't remember what was in them, but every time I had a pill, I wouldn't wet the bed. But then one day I ran out of pills. I still went to bed though, and I woke up with clean sheets. And I never wet the bed again after that. I grew out mm. of it. So if any of you watching right now, or are the pills mothers, are still active, there's a pill True. for that. Drugs solves all your problems, baby. I know this video has <laughs> a weird subject matter, but let's be realistic. It's a video. Part of life. Everyone poops or pees their pants at some point. And if you yeah, haven't, that. well, that just means you have something to look forward to when you're really old. In case you didn't know, I'm at oh, PAX South right now, unless you're watching this video after this weekend. I was really crunched for time getting the drawings done, so I had my friend Speechy help color some of the pictures, except she did too good of a job coloring, and they were all way too detailed for my style. Like, like, look at this bed. I can't use this. I only use five <laughs> colors tops. So I decided I'm not gonna give her a shout out. Again, it. that's Speechy, who I'm not shouting out. I think her fan art made it into this video, actually. And also my buddy Carson Animates <laughs> colored like two of the pictures, and I'd feel weird if I didn't acknowledge that he helped color too. Thanks for watching. This is my 100th video. Cool so to celebrate, that. you should watch this video 100 times and share it with a hundred friends which means that this video should get at least a billion views again thanks for watching and wear your seatbelt uh, I gotta oh watch it 99 gosh. more times are you guys ready ready for what 99 more times oh my gosh you guys sit tight let's go and then we flash out come back and we're like reciting oh, really it old. line by line yeah <laughs> Right out of time to them, so, so. And then we have diapers because we've grown. All right, so he did whip bed, but I beat his record. Ha ha! Has so anybody he... else beat me in the 12 year peeing the bed game? What a record to beat, I would have to say. Don't be rude. Oh, sorry, jeez. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't remember. I guess I'll have to ask my mom what, when I actually stopped wetting the you bed. You don't remember anything I from don't, being a kid. I really. I remember, like. Not much going the on. The farthest I remember is two years old. 
I remember like bits and pieces, but I don't remember like milestones like that. I remember like dumb things like. I remember when I started riding my bike. I couldn't tell you. What the heck? I remember sitting out on my front porch with a Campbell's chicken noodle soup cup picking up worms. That's what I remember. <laughs> that was like the worms farthest. Worms out of your soup. No, 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 out of the ground. What kind of soup do you eat? Campbell's chicken noodle. <laughs> Never again. Campbell's yeah. chicken wormel. Jeez, yeah, no, my grandma would like taking. Do you guys have better memory than Boo Baba over here? I don't. Boo Baba. Yeah. I, well, For I those that don't know, her nickname is Boo Boo Baba. Yeah, I don't know why, but there it Boo -boo -baba is. Boo Baba or Nino or Nini or Trash Cat. Yeah, he used to call me <laughs> Trash Cat all the time because <laughs> I had or Butter Butt. Because my <laughs> yeah, I used to call you that Butter Butt. I don't know why. He used to call me Trash Cat because when I was in high school, I used to do um, my eyeliner instead of the nice point. I used to like she, the raccoon eyes. She looked like a raccoon. So he used to call me Trash Cat. People trash say cat Trash Panda, but it's a cat to me. Yeah, so whatever. Anyway, but I like Nino. Completely or off topic. Yeah, like a horse, thank you. Or completely Booba. off topic from the video. Nino. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> we snaw. <laughs> anyway, if you guys have any more of the On Ones Out videos that you want us to watch or any other videos, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys want to see more of us, make sure to check out the description box below. Look at our Snapchat and Instagram. Make sure to subscribe. Oh, and answer those questions. If you guys peed your bed, how long? Let me know. How long? Because that's what we want to know. I'm so sorry. Why not? Because... I'm really interested. Okay. There's no. That's fine. Yeah. We got to get to know everyone. That's a very deep level, but sure. If you guys want to. You know, I imagine know. meeting some of you and then being like, hey, I'm Jamie. And be like, Jamie, 13 years being in the bed. <laughs> yeah. Thank that's you. the fact we're going to know about them. Thank you for sport. Thank you for your love. Bye. Bye. Bye.